She created a beautiful nest, beautifully decorated with straw, worms, and trinkets, and certain lucky people got to live around in it. Being here made me realize how universal theater is. Two words actually jumped out to me. One was, uh, oh, the, the two words are authoritative and collaborative. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And this is what La Mama does so well. They find these artists that are really high caliber, really high quality. And then they offer them to us on this silver platter and it fits in with the mold of what they do in New York. And it was just, I mean, I've loved La Mama for years and being able to be here in this environment in Korea and have amazing meals and fantastic colleagues and go into Spoleto. I mean, it's just, it's been an experience unlike any other. And it is completely stretched my brain as an artist. Like, I mean, I'll be processing this for, I can't believe I've been yeah. here for two weeks. I feel like I've been here for a year. La Mama has a sense of community that I haven't, that is hard to get in New York, so seeing that it has like this kind of satellite um, location here in Italy, it's like, it's like every theater company should have this. Frankly, I think I think they're really brave in some ways to even have a director symposium for 13 years. Well, because there's a lot of directors here, throw them together, and they're all of a certain <laughs> kind of personality, which Different is actually the best thing in the world that they are of this person. I mean, it really is. I don't think it would have been as, if we weren't all directors, I'm not sure it would have been that kind of experience. I mean, just, it was really, you know, worth, worth every penny. <laughs>